How's it going, my lovely Death Disciples? I am the Shattered Reaper, and today we're going to continue our Dragon Age Inquisition Let's Play, where last we left off, we had just entered the Hissing Waste, where we had discovered some very interesting ruins, to which we are actually at the site of some, which appear to be of dwarven architecture, but, uh, for some reason they're on the surface instead of underground, like they usually are. Which is strange, but... Uh, we also discovered there are some shards here, obviously, and also a few other areas that need to be investigated, clearly, and a few rifts. Um, so we are wondering what it is that the Venatori are after in this place, uh, but don't mind me, I'm just gonna go ahead over here so that I can, uh, get more power for my eventual, uh, strive to divinity. And, uh, with that we are going to, we also, oh, we can unlock the, uh, next door to the, uh, Cold Endured quest. So, uh, we'll have that available for us soon. Uh, but right now, uh, oh, that's right. The next shards are, uh, up there. Right. Um. Okay, well, this is obviously gonna be a little bit, uh gonna be a little bit something, clearly. It's not necessarily gonna be fun trying to get to them, but divinity is divinity, and I will, I will be forced to struggle for it, even though I don't want to struggle this much, just so that I can get my, those damn shards, and so that I can become a god, because I deserve it. I deserve it more than anyone here. No one could possibly take that from me. An iron bow will be at my hand, and my beck and call, one way or another. He will. He will. He will not be able to ignore my advances any further. Because, damn it, I've been trying so hard for him to notice me for one second. He will not ignore me by that time. If it takes me and getting me to become divine, for him to finally notice me, I will take it. But I mean, that's only just like one of the reasons I would take divinity, one of them. We all know that I, me deserving divinity is the most, it is the, in fact, the biggest reason I will be taking up divinity. That's a little bit further up here I have to go, okay. So this is interesting. Some more paths up here in order to be able to get more shards. As well as possibly some other interesting stuff. Like this gate over here. I can definitely hear the uh, shard. It's above me. How I would be able to get up to that location. If not, is this how I get up to it? I don't think I remember seeing this path here before though. Oh, but there's the shard. There we go. That's all the shards I've discovered thus far. But what's up over here? There has to be more. Otherwise, it would not be, uh... Otherwise, it would not be so, uh, strangely available to me, or look like it was. There has to be more, right? No? It was just that shard? Oh, all right, then. Just slide on back down, then. I'm sure I'll be fine. See? Nothing to worry about. See, I wasn't trying to tease anything like a comedic fall off the cliff. I mean, come on. I'm better than that. Now, what might be in this dre- Ooh. What's up there, though? On the map. Is there a way I can reach to it? Well, I mean, first things first, this looks like I'm going in the direction of another camp, so, uh, more camps, more ways to be able to get around the place. Because after all, this place just, it's just big. It's just big, it's mostly empty except for the ruins. Okay, so this might take me to that first question mark. What might I find there, I wonder? Oh! Dwarven statues. Now, I wonder if maybe because of all the gateways, it could possibly be a location such as one for pilgrimages or something like that. But we'll figure that part out after murdering some Venatori people. Oh, 
Oh, there, there we go. Oh, oops. Accidentally killed an animal. Sorry. I will be taking that venatory tome, and I will definitely be doing some research on it very thoroughly, and also claiming this landmark as mine. Stone over sky. A faint inscription in ancient dwarven script is carved in the arcway. Let this gate be the stone over your head, home never forgotten, anchoring soil and sky. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, then Atoria taken care of, and uh, we will be bringing that tome for research, um, but... Oh, okay, so it was just a landmark that we were here for. Okay. Well, then we'll just be moving on. Oh, after looting this. That's yeah, Fennec fur. Right, that was the innocent creature that I killed. Sorry about that again. That was not my intention. At all. Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess the map is telling me this is where I would find the camp. But I might be right in my, uh, assumptions a little bit, or in my hypothesis that maybe it could be a pilgrimage site, considering the language used, or the, uh, wording used for that, uh, oh, and there's a raft. But it camps over this way, so uh, I think I'm going to prioritize the camp so that I at least have a place to fast travel instead of trying to struggle so much to get around places. Let's see, I'm in- uh, yes, I am in the right direction, I just wanted to make sure. Are we going to be making camp on these, uh, on these stones? Is that what we're doing? No idea. So far, I cannot tell. There should definitely be a camp- Oh, there's another pathway here that I did not notice. Hm. Okay, we should almost be there. So, uh, just head up in this direction. We should find a spot soon. Search the Venator camp known as the Watchtower and as the Cove. Is this the Watchtower or the Cove? I'm getting the feeling it's the watchtower. Move out of the way, Venatori. We have important business we'd like to get to, uh, but we're first gonna start off by murdering you. I hope that's perfectly fine for you guys, and you don't mind in the slightest. Which I'm sure you don't. Because you shouldn't. Because after all, I am the best person ever to exist, and thus someone, and of course someone that is, going to be divinity very soon, unlike that Corypheus asshole who thinks he's going to be divinity more than me. Or before me, even. Either way does not work for me. Alright, there we go. Glad we had that, uh, glad we, uh, had this discussion. Anyway, this place is mine now. That's the last of them here. This would make a good lookout post. Uh, yeah, just like we just made it into. Very observant me, Esthenor. Alright, let's see. Uh, oh, uh, person is at the same location as the place I'm supposed to be investigating. Oh, Venatory Order. Search Venatory Camp north of the cove and search Venatory Camp in the mountains. Oh, so I have even more locations now. Members of the Venatory, we are close to unearthing the secrets the old dwarfs buried here. The Elder One will doubtless be pleased with our success, but be vigilant. While our work has gone well and- ooh, we leveled up. While our work has gone well, the Inquisition and their false herald were seen traveling towards the Waste. Travel together and go armed. Levalin may have no magic other than the Anchor, but the damnable rogue has eluded death more times than can be natural. <laughs> they even got my class right, how adorable. We cannot allow the Inquisition to take this place from us. If you are pressed, retreat to our main camp behind the Sunstop Mountains. Extra guards will be posted. The Elder One will prevail. Overseer Julex. Well, thank you for telling me your plans right there without even necessarily taking into account that I would possibly do that. Ooh, sketch of Colossus Tomb. Hmm. And I see they have a very interesting sketch of the location of particular treasures. Although just a little bit lower than I would have expected, but oh well. Gonna have to be on the lookout for a statue like that. 
Although it might appear from that sketch that it could also be a statue that has a well in front of it. So I'm definitely going to have to keep an eye out for that as well. First things first, let's go ahead and investigate the area around here, see if there's stuff that I can take into account. Are there other sketches I should be aware of, actually? That is not uh, what I was looking for, actually. But first things first, now that I have it in mind, uh, let's go with uh, some skills. Uh, subterfuge, I've already leveled up completely, but let's take a look at how I can improve Shadow Strike. Quick Blade. Shadow Strike now hits harder if you are in stealth or haven't taken damage recently. Okay, that I could easily do, because I'm only going to use it in stealth. Uh, Long Shadows. You know how to strike without being seen, even at a distance. You can now use Shadow Strike against ranged targets. Oh, couldn't I do that before, though? Like, you know, be right in front of their faces? Let's go with Long Shadows, though. If it could be a ranged attack, I'll go with it. Now, maybe there could be something of interest to investigate in these, uh... In these posts over here. I wonder what I could find. Although, I probably should go ahead and take a look at my journal just to be sure. Hissing Ways. Because there are definitely a lot of maps around here. The Tomb of Phyrel. Uh, find the Statue Tomb's treasure. The, uh, yep, a lot of treasures. Um, notes on the Waste. Holding the Hissing Ways. Uh... Tomb of Phyrel, um, where are the, uh, maps to remind me? Okay, so there's that one to which I have n Oh, wait, no, I already got that one. Um, nope. Colossus Tomb, okay, we still need to find that statue. Uh, that Oculum is supposed to find something for the Pillar Tomb, but which Oculum, I have no idea. Sketch of the canyon tomb, okay. Okay, so I guess that's all of them. We'll figure it out. That seems like an interesting location. An ocularum. Okay, I got more neverite. Oh, and oh, a mosaic piece. Good thing I investigated, and, uh, the sacrifice, once again, 5 of 12, okay. Shard spotted, okay, there's the one. I should also probably be looking for those four pillars as well when I get the chance, but, uh, I don't think I'm gonna see much else from here, I think. Yeah, definitely not. Just that one shard over here, over there, yeah. Oh, well, I found a mosaic piece, so that's something. Hmm. Yep, there's a shard over there. Sand and ruin. There's a sizable venatory presence in the hissing waste. It is an odd place for them to be dispatched at all, let alone in such significant numbers. Wait, why did you take your bow out like that? That's just rude. You had no reason to do that. Let's head over this way. Climb down from the ladder. Oh, there's loot over here. How did I miss you? Decorated pendant, I'll take that. And I'll just dump down from here. Ooh, secret. Let's look around. Way ahead of you. Now, what do we have over? Okay, it's below us. Oh, it's a bottle of Thetis. Okay, three more to go. 
Flames of Our Lady, a wine with hues that range from blood to fire, always in that order. In the south, take a single drought shout. She is with us and throw the remainder into a fireplace. In the north, draw steel and march. Okay. Ugh, Grey Warden shits, get that out of my sight. At this point, I am definitely not in the mood to deal with Grey Warden stuff. Especially considering I exiled them. I'll accept Blackwall and, uh, Ironbolt, what just happened with you there? Okay, did somebody just take a leak? Did, did you have to do it right there? Right when I was right there? That's just rude. Come on. We have better standards than this, people. Oh. Well, what do we have here? Is that a colossal statue? Hmm. I'm not entirely sure if that's the one we're looking for, though. But at least worth investigating if there is something about that here. Rock Top Ridge. Is that perfume? You must be imagining. Well, now I smell it. Hmm. Now, if that is in fact a perfume, I must be aware of it. Apparently, some people decided to camp in dangerous spots, living on the edge, it seems. Interesting ideas, but also probably not where I would like to sleep, considering, uh, I prob I'd probably roll right off from that location, and that would not be fun for me. Okay, who just had a harsh ass landing? We've had some luck. Uh, thank you. Oh, it's a spiked longbow. It has no in. It, what is it with you guys and finding things that are of no use to me? No offense, but it really isn't. Anyway, there's something over here. Serpent stone. More serpent stone. Are you a hostile up ahead, by the way? Hopefully you're not. Okay, good. You're not. Exit. Oh, no. Wait. Scratch that. You are a hostile, but I'm not going to pay attention to you. Yep, and there's a rat. Now what's over in this direction? Oh, it must be the shard. I gotta get that first. Hold on a second. There you are. Don't mind if I do. There we go. There we go. Six of the eight shards. Now we can go ahead and take care of the rift first. We have to kill them. Look, we're we're trying to deal with more important things, so if you don't mind, we'd very much like to just be on our way and go. Uh, I completely forgot I gave you that ability, Cassandra. Lurker scales, I'll take those, thank you. Alright, time to kill these demons. Excuse me. Rude. Getting up that close without my permission. I do not appreciate that. You really should know that I do not appreciate that at all. Can you just stop moving in that weird angle? That's also very rude, and you should know that. There we go. Takes care of that one. Perfection, now for the next wave. Oh, it's the teleporters. Uh, damn it, Dorian, you just had to drag me in with that. At least I got to test out Shadow Strike. And you are gonna die for your teleported sins. I got this one. As I always do. Perfect. And that's one Fade Rift close on the Sunstop Mountains. Ooh, 20 Stoneheart and Pure Fire Essence. Okay, job well done. And there is a camp over here to congratulate us on our victory. 
with a couple of old hanged corpses. That's lovely. I'll just be taking the gold. Now, what is that? I have no idea what that is. Alright, yep, camp should be up there soon. Will It will come into view. Oh, more Neverite. Alright, got the survey done, and we can fulfill the requisition once we make camp. There we go. Should be right up here. There we go. And now... Perfect! Now then, we can go ahead and fulfill the requisition. Geological survey for the Dwarven academics in the University of Orlais. Perfect. And let's see, there's another rift over there, so we'll go ahead and take care of that as well. Oh wait, I'm facing the wrong direction. It's this way. Um, are, are we... Oh, the Colossus! One of the treasures... One of the treasures should be around here, actually. If we can find it, obviously. Because, uh... This is definitely a colossal amount of space. With a nice view of the colossal moon. But I'm not seeing a colossus statue, so where is it? Unless it's behind me. Nope. But I did get a good view of my beautiful face that I designed. I mean, at least it's nine to the desert. Way better than being in the glaring heat. Don't you dare teleport, that is a definite no-no. You just had to disobey me like that, didn't you? You do not realize who you're dealing with. And now to deal with you. Very rude, Mr. Pride Demon. Very rude. And now you're dead. So top that. Stupid despair demon. Every time, as for you. Just let me take care of this despair demon and then I'll deal with you. You have to wait your turn like everyone else, you ass. Everybody just wants a turn with me and I do not appreciate how upfront they're being about it. Alright, fine. You want upfrontness? I'll give you upfrontness. Oh, and would you look at that? You died. people are. Very rude. Oh well, at least that's a second rift taken care of in the suns in the Sunstop Mountains. More Neverite and pure lightning essence. Okay. I think that's all I mean. It's everything here that we know of. But we still have the Colossus we need to deal with. So where can we find this Colossus? Oh, it's that strange person. Hello again. All men are the work of our maker's hands, from the lowest slaves to the highest kings. How did you get over here so quickly? Blessed are those that walk in the sight of the maker. So the blessing lets you walk faster. Could be useful. Yeah, I, I would definitely say that would be useful, but who is that bitch? Ah, there we are. Treasures abound. What might be revealed here? Bert's gotta claim it. The Colossus of Orlay. Wait a minute. So first we have the dwarves on the surface, but now we also have the Colossus of Orlay of Emperor Florian. He's 
are definitely leading to a strange conclusion of which I do not know what it is. Emperor Florian, in addition to being notoriously reclusive, was not fond of his own visage. Orlesian emperors and empresses are traditionally immortalized in gilded marble. Florian, forced to commission something, instead chose a red sandstone found only in the hissing waste. He demanded his likeness be carved there, away from where he could see it. When presented with an official proposal, the emperor idly drew on the paper, adding circles around the royal crest, the statue's eyes, and the dimensions and cost of the project. Florian's signature turned it into an official court document, and re he refused to entertain more modest proposals hastily drafted and sent to his chambers as he considered the matter over and done with at last. Thus, the Colossus of Orlay was born. Dozens of sculptors, hundreds of miners, and there and three highly paid surveyors selected a suitably stable hill in the waste to begin carving. A year into the project, workers uncovered an old dwarven ruin near the base of the statue. Believing this to be a sign that the ground was sturdy, the grand work continued until Florian's death. When Empress Selene took the throne and ordered work on the costly effigy immediately cease, we must give our subjects working on this noble project time to mourn, she said. Strangely, Empress Selene never ordered work on the Colossus of Orlais to resume, nor offered a plan to transport it out of the waste. Hmm, that is pretty selfish of that bitch, but you know what? I'm like, we can really change that. Oh wait, yes I can. I am the Shadow Emperor of the Orlesian Empire, after all. But, uh, is it gonna be worth my time? I don't know. Maybe having a little bit of recognition for the modest emperor would be nice, but then again, it could also be his wish that he doesn't really care. I mean, he didn't actually seem to care a whole lot about it, so... I don't know. I just don't know if there's really anything that he'd want me to do about it. Maybe Celine also recognized that and didn't really care. So she simply just decided to not let the project be a bother to anyone anymore after Florian's death. I mean, he was kind of forced to make it, so... I don't know. Maybe I just won't, uh... Maybe I'll just leave it as it is. Of course. Don't put spiders in the cave being hostile to me. Uh, there's still one more. I got it. Nope, it just decided to hide behind that thing. A door. Where was I? Oh yes, lighting braziers with fail fire. Spooky. Warden dragon statuette. So much veil fire. I wonder why this place needs so many. Oh. The surface where they would hide from the war that took their home. The strife that destroyed thags sundered houses from weapons that clan used against clan. His own clan and his two sons followed Feral to the pitiless surface. Feral, Paragon fled from the strife his brilliance created. We start here. And then here. Nope, that was wrong. But I think I know where to go from here. Okay, we get it. We upset your dwarven ancestors or whatever because I got the thing wrong, okay? Get me a break. I haven't learned the history of this place very well. Very well. It's a little bit difficult when I have rage demons blind to correct me every single time I do something wrong. Jeez, you are by far the worst professors I have ever had the misfortune of dealing with. Okay, let's try this again. So. You're smiling a great deal these days, Dorian. 
I always smile. People like my smile, and they should. I, I have should excellent know. teeth. Do you always do it while staring dreamily into the distance? It depends how long until dinner. <laughs> well, I mean, he definitely does do that when he thinks about me, obviously. Feral Paragon Flood from the Strife his brilliance created. I mean, a little self-centered and narcissistic, but I'll take it. The surface where they would hide from the war that took their hull. No, wait, no, that's definitely not next. The strife that destroyed Thags sundered houses from weapons that clan used against clan. His own clan and his two sons follow Feral to the pedalist surface. Really? Are we really dealing with this right now in the middle of my history lesson? You guys take care of that, I don't feel like I'm going to deal with it. The surface where they would hide from the war that took their home. Another two. Why are the Venatori the first ones out here? Corypheus must have put them on the scent. No, I mean, why isn't Orle or Ferelden sending scholars to learn how to make a building that lasts a thousand years? I know, that's so this weird. This is real engineering. None of this will get a maid to lift that block crap Tevinter does. Well, pardon us. <laughs> I mean, it's he does have a point, though. I mean, like, imagine thinking of, like, trying to figure out this architecture, like, right here. I mean, we have the dwarves keeping secrets, but, like, nobody thinks to go here? I mean, they had to have noticed something. I mean, we had Orlesian scholars here making a giant colossus of Emperor Florian, and none of them thought to inform the University of Orle about, like, hey, there are some dwarven ruins here. Maybe we could learn a few things here. You would think they'd have their eyes on this place, but they don't. Which is weird. Oh well, we got more mosaic pieces at least. And another key fragment. And a superb ring of sundering. Find the graveyard tomb's treasure. Follow the treasure map to the tomb. Also very interesting that there is a tree here as well. But hey! Another treasure found, more mosaic pieces to put together, and of course, more key fragments to lead to an even bigger treasure than we already had perceived. How fascinating. I mean, if nobody else is going to go after the secrets of this place, then I suppose it would do no better than for someone such as myself to do the research for them and to take advantage of said research for myself. Because after all, there is a reason that I am the great, the, dare I say, the greatest founding emperor of the graceful, beautiful, imperial, inquisitorial Alpine Empire. Don't even know what the fuck they're doing. I mean, you have to admit, they have one of the best things to discover right here, and they're not doing anything about it. And it's pathetic. Absolutely 100% pathetic. I can't be the only one thinking of how pathetic that is, right? I shouldn't be. I really shouldn't be. Now, where... What other things can we discover on this map here? So far, what I'm seeing is a border. Rock top ridge that we discovered already. All right, let's see now. Okay, yep, this is the border that we cannot cross. I'm actually gonna call my mount to see if we could speed this search up a little. Yeah. Onward, my beautiful Bakai. Oops, that's not what I want. 
had to do. Okay, so yeah, we are definitely at the border here, so, uh... Sorry. Didn't realize we were, uh, already so, uh... Another edge. You always make me so worried if I'm running you so hard whenever you breathe so hard. But then I just realize that's what you usually breathe like uh, when you're running. And these are not necessarily the most pleasant hills to run on. I will give you that. And I just kind of feel like we're back where we started. Also, I did just see you pop into existence there. That is not how life works. Hmm. Well, it doesn't seem like there's actually anything here. yet to find the four pillars, though. That's the only thing I'm wondering about. So where can I possibly find the four pillars? Seems to be a camp all the way over there. I don't think I remember, uh... Oh, no, wait. I haven't really been out this way. Now, there's definitely a lot of map scouring, and I'm just, uh, just kind of want to see if I am observing everything that I possibly can. It's just my thing.
really? Oh, knocked me off. He could not have knocked me off from all the way over there. only one, so... Good job, Cassandra, though, I guess. There is something out here, though. Oh, I found some seeds. Looks like a camp over there. I think I'll continue on foot for that. This is why you explore. You never know what you can find. The Golden Oasis. How delightful. And there's obviously something over there. Don't worry, just slid down. I'm perfectly fine. This does not seem like the best location, admittedly. Considering how many hostiles there appear to be around here. Down there. Yep, those are both definitely hostiles. And they're all wyverns. Oh, let's just get this over with. Pretty sure I'm not going to be able to sneak around them anyways. Up earlier. Although, what is this green one? And Canberra, why are you acting weird all of a sudden? I do not appreciate you being weird right now. Okay, I'm giving you health, Iron Ball Jesus. So needy. More wyvern scales. And more wyvern scales. 600 influence for killing wyverns. Why did I get power from this exactly? Was there a mission to kill these wyverns? I'm not sure how I feel about that. Got some one. of those trebuchets from the siege back at Skyhold. Hey, Seeker, think you'd mind if I borrow one? Just for an hour or two. Why do you need a trebuchet? Kremso's a bit. He made these stuffed nugs with wheat. I want to see how far they can fly. I don't think that's an appropriate use of Inquisition resources. This is why you're not in charge of morale. Just... I mean, I am the one who decides what is used for the Inquisition and what isn't, okay? But I feel like that's actually a pretty fun idea. Let's do it. <laughs> anyway, claiming this. The Oasis. The Oasis is significantly cooler than the open sands. A sweet fragrance drifts down from the trees. Well, so this is what they were smelling earlier, although this seems pretty far for them to smell it, but hey. Oh, more mosaic pieces. Seven of twelve pieces found, okay. White wyvern hide. Oh, interesting. Oh. Nothing in this direction. And another wyvern, unfortunately. We're gonna have to kill this one, too. Why must you be so hostile? I mean, yes, I'm the one that's striking, but you're the one coded as a hostile. Why do you need to be hostile to me? Not sure if that ability was necessary, Ironbow, but I'll take it. Why are 
detail for research instead of as crafting material. A journal on dwarven ruins. A few days ago, I turned from a statue to find a human woman staring at me. She didn't react when I screamed or when I ran around picking up my dropped notes. When I asked who she was and how long she'd been standing there, she quoted some verses of the chant from me, at me. Polite as you please. I offered her some water, but she shook her head, pointed to the east, and said, Blessed are those with fortitude, for they persevere in the name of the Maker. When I glanced back, she was gone. Poor woman must be touched. She seemed harmless, but I don't know how she gets around so quickly in this heat. Oh, this is strange. We're not the only ones dealing with this woman, and it seems like she may have been around for quite some time. Curious. Are there any other ruins around here? Like, caves or something like that? Other than wyverns that want to kill me. There seem to be only wyverns that want to kill me, and uh, I am not necessarily in the mood to kill more. But it seems to get out of here I have to kill at least one more. So, uh, sorry. And oh, there's a really? You put another one up there. This is just me. I did not mean to shoot that one. Oh, it didn't register as a hit. Okay, that works. one we're killing, and we're leaving. Okay? Good. Volcanic arm. Like that. Hmm. Was that all there was, though? Hmm. I mean, I got a mosaic piece out of it, but at the same time, it's also... I was kind of expecting a little bit more, like some ruin, some more ruins to delve down into. not much else around uh, in the unexplored areas here, honestly. So uh, I think I'll just fast travel to a different location. Uh... Oh, we haven't taken care of this rep, so I think we'll go ahead and deal with that. Should be in this direction, so let's go. How did you get down there so fast, Iron Ball? Are tripping. Eps. I've got being loud down there, so that's kind of why I'm looking away every now and then, because I'm wondering what he's shout what he's going on about outside. Alright, let's take care of this rat. Next 
wave. to rip a fabric into reality. Road. And you, sir, can go into timeout. Being so rude and obnoxious. Well, you up now. Perfect. Oh, wait, right. Rifts of the sun stuff have been closed. Never a key charm, pure frost essence. Oh, I guess I can't get the key charm. Ah, uh, there was still someone up here, so I kind of want to talk to them. I think it's that same strange woman. Wonder what else it is that she might want to tell me. Where did I see her again, though? Up. Oh. Up. Oh. Uh, the gold is useful, but nothing else. But thanks, I guess. Now, what might be over here? What was I getting blocked by? Alright, that's the upright key charm. Thought there might have been a second one, like there normally is. Hmm. Uh, oh. <laughs> you did not see what that statue was about. At all. And I see there are more hand corpses around here. <clears throat> hmm. Definitely something around here, obviously, if everything else didn't give it away. Oh, that hurt. Gimme. Out of the way, big man! Excuse me, did you just try to shoot me, sir? Did you really just try and shoot me? Because you're being pathetic. You see, this is how you shoot. And, wow, you're, you're just... What are you even doing? There's Willow, I'll take that. Alright, I think that's all I'm taking care of so far. Oh, nope, there's one more. You do not get to run away, sir! Even more of a reason to kill you. You're using improper bows. Pathetic. Hmm. Now, how do we get further in? Oh, a secret. And it's beyond this palisade. I'm gonna go ahead and investigate it. More venatory assholes. Are they both really going after me, specifically? Rude. And now you're dead. Well, you will be. This is why you don't wear heavy armor in the desert. You guys should have known this, and you didn't. It's 
really dumb of you guys. This, does, this person didn't even know what they're doing. I mean, none of them do, but that guy in particular did not know what he was doing. Yeah, we fly up into the air for my amusement. Alright, that's this place cleared out. No Zach piece. And now the guy outside just yelled. Just yelled the off word. I mean, he just said fuck you, that's it. Not really sure what about, but... I don't know. I really don't know what he's on about. Well, I guess that's everything. Let's up and the N word. Okay, yeah. Now I know what it's about. It's just him being a racist douchebag. Yeah, that's what you get for trying to come at me. Artisanal treatment of a Tevinter slave wine. Grape pomace is soaked and pressed, then buried for a year under the waste where the first arc demon fell. One assumes they keep finding the stuff. Hmm. Organ vase that I can't pick up. What else is around here? Did we finish, uh. No? We still have some Venatori we need to clear out. I wonder what they're, uh, doing, though. Nothing over here. So let's just continue onwards. Now, I'm not necessarily being dismissive in the fact that I don't care about the fact that he said the N-word earlier, but it's just like, lately I've been hearing a bit more often than I would normally. And it just makes me, and it honestly just makes me feel more disappointed. Yeah. And I mean, really, the only people who have been saying it are just complete idiots that, uh, don't really know why they're saying it except to just be racist pieces of shit. I mean, they really have no other reason to do that other than to be a piece of shit and an annoying asshole, so... Really, I don't even know why they're bothering to say it. It's literally just them being racist. That's the only reason they're saying it. It's not to make a point, except in the fact that they are idiots, and just want to be racist for no reason. So, I mean, it does annoy me. It's just that... I do not feel like... I don't know. I just don't know. Now, there's some more stuff over there. And another mosaic piece. Nine of twelve for the sacrifice. Wonder if eventually this might be the first mosaic piece that we have completed thus far. You seemed remarkably comfortable at the Winter Palace Ball. I do my best. 
You didn't knock over a single priceless statue or fart even once near the dessert table. That you know of. I'm surprised you never spent time in the Tevinter courts. They would adore you. Mm. I did. After a while, the saddle just got too heavy. Oh. So that explains why he was able to keep his composure a little bit better than one would expect. Hi! Just thought I'd give you all a little archery lesson since it seems like none of your archers know what they're doing. Now that's just rude, sir. I'm just trying to provide a good lesson here, and you're just taking advantage of it. Really? Alright. Douche. Just trying to use my ultimate archer technique to teach a lesson, and here you are, just throwing uh, timed explosive spells on me. That's just plain crude. I did not, I did not roll my R correctly. I apologize. Nah, you guys are fine. Oh, so it isn't attached to me. Okay, I was wondering if it was one of those things, but it wasn't. Can you just put down your magic shield, please? I'd really appreciate that. I think we all would, so just, just please put it down and die. Please, 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 please. Thank you. Even put it up after you died and just, what, what, what is going on here? What is going on here? Ow. Well, I see Cassandra's uh, handling herself quite well, in a sense. Being revived and all that. Okay, we're all good now. Are you unharmed? I did not expect so many. This must have been the Venatori's main camp. Come on. We should still find what they were after. Absolutely. What might we find, though? Oh, something to take. Draft of letter to Venatori Magister, search of Venatori Camp North of the Cove. We still have that one to deal with. Fellow Magisters, we have been given a chance to redeem ourselves after one of our own failed Corypheus at Redcliffe. The dwarven relics in the tombs are instructions on recreating the masterpieces of one of their finest paragons. They are to be excavated, replicated, and brought back for study. The Elder One is generous to let us prove our worth. We cannot disappoint him. Do not spare the slaves. Speed is crucial to our success. Let us set an example to the rest of the Venatori, mages, and commoners both with our obedience to the Elder One's will, Overseer Julex. Uh, uh, you guys okay up there at- ooh, Blood Wake. 49 fire damage, plus 10 spirit damage. Is that better than what, uh, is that better one Dorian has? Oh, get rid of the Grey Warden shit. Set an example by destroying it. And also the Darkspawn Great Axe. Get rid of that too. Or Legion Lion Shield. Is that better than what Cassandra has? No, not really. So uh, get rid of that as well. Okay, any armor to get rid of? Battlemaster armor to get rid of that, yes. Um, Keen Wyvern Vitar, get rid of that. There we go. And now we can take all this stuff. Sigil the Great Bear. Now, um, Dorian. Uh, your... Okay, Staff of the Void, yeah, it does better than, um, you know, Blood Wake. But I'll keep it anyway so that I can sell it. Okay, so I think we went through everything. Actually. Is that something I can destroy or blow up? Is that why the target's on those barrels? I don't know what that's for. No idea. Okay, well, we finished our thing here. Take that, sure. Yeah, I think we finished everything over here, so uh, why don't we just go ahead and head back on to uh, this camp over here, actually. Mm. 
And with that, we're gonna end the uh, report. What is it? You may want to look into this. Yep, already did that. I was prepared for it, honestly. There we go. Alright, after finishing that, I think we'll go ahead and end the video here. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Give that like button a stab if you did. Subscribe if you want more death in your life. Be sure the bell is tolling for thee. And until next time, rest in peace. Bye! Enjoyed today's video? Well, there's plenty more for you to enjoy here. And if you also want to support this small channel, then there is also my Kofi, which is available, as well as a Twitter thread that gives you my commissioning info. And if you'd like some traditional art or literature, feel free to DM me on Twitter. Thank you for enjoying the video and for your viewership.